So we now have a fully functioning chat application that consists of services and hooks. And in this video, we'll show how we can actually create a user. Now we don't have a front end yet, but for this, we'll just use Postman. Now I currently have our Feathers app uh, running as a dev server on port 3030. And so if I open up Postman, I can make a request to it. And what I'm going to do is make a request against slash users to create a new user. So this needs to be a post request. And then we'll go against HTTP colon slash slash localhost 3030 slash users. Now the body of the request will be the actual user that I'm creating. So here I'll click raw and then I'll select application JSON. And then I'm going to send a JSON object that is the user that I want to create. In this case, the email will be hello at feathersjs.com. And our password will be super secret and click send. Now this will make a post request to that service. Our uh, before create hook will run, which creates the avatar, and then it will insert it into the database. And we can now see that this user was created. So they have that email, they have the avatar, which was automatically generated based on the create code that we wrote, and it has an ID which represents it in the database. So now that we have a registered user, we can get a token from the authentication service. So here I'm going to make a post request to HTTP colon slash slash localhost 3030 slash authentication. And the body of the request will be very similar. I want it to be raw and this should be application JSON. And so I'll copy the body, but we do need to add one extra property because we need to tell it the type of login that we're doing. In this case, we have the strategy and we're going to set it equal to local. And this is to differentiate between our different authorization strategies. So there's local auth, which is, which is just username and password. There's also OAuth, which would be any service like GitHub or Facebook or, or Google. So we, we're saying that we're using the local strategy, we're passing our credentials, and we should get back a token. So we're going to make a request. And there we go. We get back an access token, which means that our login worked. Now, subsequent requests to the service or any of the services in our app would need to include this token. And now let's actually take a look at that. So if I were to try to make a request against our messages service, let's say uh, I just want to get all existing message messages. Right now, I am not authorized because I'm not sending that token. But if I take the token that was generated after the login, and in this request, I can set an authorization header. So here I'm going to say authorization. And the value is going to be bearer space and then that token value. And now if I send the request, I have a malformed JWT. Let's actually make sure that we did this correctly. Oh, I didn't copy the whole thing. Copy the whole thing. Try again. And now if we try. There we go. So now that we are a valid user and we're logged in, it actually lets us make a request to the service. And right now there are no messages, so um, it just comes back as an empty array. So in the next video, we'll actually build a client application, which will make all of these requests. So we won't have to be use, using Postman to interact with our application. We'll have a client side application where the user can log in, they can create messages and view messages. See you there.